Hi, good afternoon. I am Rhonda Clark. I'm Jennifer Vakash. And to begin, Hafsa, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, thank you so much for having me. My name, as you said, is Hafsa Shdiak. I am currently in my last year of medical school. I study in the Republic of Panama at a university called Universidad Latina de Panama. Um, I am a mother of two children and I got started late in the game in medical school. So this is a career change for me. Some call it a career change. I call it a natural progression of life. I think this fit beautifully with my goals in life. And I am very privileged and happy to be where I am today. Wonderful. Thank you for being here with us. The first question is, um, what are two things that you learned during your time here at Chicago Telerad? That's a great question. When I had initially joined the rotation, I was really looking for exposure to a North American healthcare system, understanding how doctors um, perform their treatment of patients, what is the dynamic like in your interprofessional teams. And I think Chicago Telerad definitely offered me insight into that goal. And I was able to see how a different a group of people that came together, whether it was residents, postgraduates, an actual doctor, um, a director, an administrator, how all of you came together for a shared goal, which was to be able to elicit accurate readings of different diagnostic images and being able to do it in a timely fashion for a variety of um, populations, like a variety of patients. It was very fast paced. And it was challenging. I definitely found it to be interesting and it helped me push push myself as a student. The second thing I had an opportunity to learn was about the technological component to radiology. I didn't actually know that for radiology, you could do it from a distance. I know that there were several screens that were set up. And so that just made me aware of how important technology has been to advance the radiology field. And it's something that was a very valuable insight for me. That's so awesome. So um, you kind of touched a little bit on it, but how um, was your experience um, working with Dr. Sami, Dr. Linder, and the whole rest of the team at Chicago Telerad? If you just expand on that a little more. Sure, it was great. It was definitely, it was hit the ground running. I mean, once five o'clock came and those Zoom meeting codes came out, I knew I was in for a busy afternoon. It was quite fast paced. Um, for someone who um, was, I mean, I'm a student of COVID in the sense that our rotations were quite limited and our exposure to clinical practice was quite limited. And that includes um, radiology. Um, so to be able to have such a large breadth of exposure of different body parts, different modalities, that was definitely um, a very uh, steep learning curve for me. And it forced me to really understand what I was looking at to understand also the technical language around it. Um, so it was definitely a great learning experience for me. It was, it, it, it just, it was a high standard and I tried to reach that standard. <laughs> well, you definitely did reach that standard. So <laughs> between your nice. presentation, your case reports, I mean, uh, absolutely wonderful job. Thank you, thank you. And this was all done uh, virtually. This is a virtual experience. Can you tell us um, how you felt about the convenience of, of doing this virtually? Yes, absolutely. I, um, I actually was at first a bit hesitant precisely because in my mind, I always thought the medical education has to be face to face, but no, this was absolutely wonderful. And it goes back to the technology component that I was saying, that there were several different stations that were set up and they would project different imaging um, of different patients. So I think um, being able to do it virtually was actually a distinct advantage for this rotation. It was the fact that we could sit in one place, be focused on our screen and really zoom into the projections or into the images that we were seeing and have an opportunity to sort of um, be able to study them better versus being on our feet and being distracted by our environment. This really allowed us to be in a comfortable space where we could just focus on what was at hand, which is what the screen was presenting. It's awesome. So if you could rate it then on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, um, how would you rate this rotation? Um, I would definitely put it at a 9.5. And the only reason I would, that 0.5 is there is because for someone like myself, um, where we really want to learn, it's it's definitely you're very much present in a real life action scenario. So there's not that didactic component to it where someone's taking the time to explain to you like, hey, look, this is the body part. These are the 
radiological features. There's a lot of auto learning that has to happen. Mm -hmm. And so that is definitely, it's self-directed and it's independent. And so in that regard, um, it's great, but it can also be if someone's coming in thinking that this is going to be very didactic and maybe in different cultures or universities, um, it's more of an auto-directed learning process for sure. Yeah, yep, that makes sense. So was the value of the externship worth the price that you paid for it? I think so. For me, it was. I do. I do think so. I think from everything that I gained to be able to see a very well-coordinated team, one that also respects each other and has a lot of fun. There's a lot of mm -hmm. that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I always enjoyed that part the most. Um, <laughs> and we aim able to please. <laughs> And so, and also being able to see two different doctors, at, you know, doing it, you know, Dr. Sammy and Dr. Linder, both excellent physicians. They definitely dominate their craft. Um, they're extremely efficient in giving their readings and their diagnostic impressions. So to be able to be under the tutelage of them or just being in the presence of them, it's something that I definitely value. And I would hope that maybe in the future, um, I could work with Chicago Telerad again, if given the opportunity. Oh, we would absolutely, we were talking about it earlier. We would love to have you. <laughs> <laughs> we literally we were talking about that earlier. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, just the last thing I just want to ask, um, what would you say to colleagues of yours who are considering um, doing this externship or rotation to gain U.S. clinical experience? I would tell them that if they want to definitely derive the maximum benefit from this, that they definitely should review radiology concepts and imaging beforehand, that when mm -hmm. they come to definitely be very focused mm -hmm. um, as to what they are seeing. And also because of the modality and the manner in which it was with the different stations um, set up to definitely take that advice of having as many devices set up as possible. Yeah. Um, to not be afraid to ask questions. Um, definitely Mr. Dr. Sammy and Dr. Linder were quite gracious whenever I would um, uh, interrupt in between readings and ask questions they would explain and not only them but also the residents the fellow residents and medical students who are, have a lot more exposure and experience mm -hmm. they would definitely um, have discussions amongst themselves and that's a learning opportunity so yeah. for sure yeah. yeah and it's exciting too because we don't like your exposure to radiology doesn't end when the rotation ends or the externship ends. We keep you involved with radiologists and residents all around the world in our discussion. So everybody finds that fun and um, we keep learning that way. So it's a cool way to make connections and be connected and everything. So absolutely. That was actually, uh, that for me was the cherry on top of the WhatsApp group that was created with the mm -hmm. Chicago Telerad um, externs and students. Yeah. Definitely. And it feels really nice to know that there is a wider community that sort of has similar goals as I do and the way they share the cases as well. So it's definitely a cherry on top. I, and I do appreciate that continuity, continuity of learning. Yeah. That's what we, we strive for. We care for all of our students and externs and want to make the best experience for their future too. So, well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. And we definitely look forward to seeing you again and having you work with us again in the future. I hope so. I hope so. I'll be more than happy to assist with your Spanish speaking clients as well. <laughs> oh, that would be Wonderful. amazing. Dr. <laughs> Sami would love that. Well, really, yeah. <laughs> a la orden, as we say in Spanish, at your service, a la orden. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, thank, thank you, you again so much. Thank you. All the best. Same to you.